guys, welcome back again from Tampa Bay. I'm going out tonight to what's called a launch party for the new Ducati Xtiavo. It's being held at my local, I call it my expensive imports dealer. They handle the BMW, the Ducati, MV Agusta, Aprilia. And by the way, this here is that big ass house I was telling you about in the video a few days ago. Beautiful place. Bunch of them like that right here. There's a lake right behind here. They are for sale. Pretty good deals compared to up north. Way too rich for my blood, though. I would love that place right there. That is gorgeous. Anyway, they're having sign-ups today to do a demo ride event tomorrow for the X Diavo. That's one of the new bikes that I want to review. So I'm going tonight to sign up for it. it starts at seven. Should be there in about 10 minutes. Just taking the roundabout way here. I love going down these couple local twisty roads. Definitely the most fun in my local area like this. We've got this one and then another one just down the road here. So it's kind of cool to make a little bit of a loop. This one is more twisty than the other one though. Definitely odd for this part of the state for sure, but I'm very glad to have them. Just nice to cruise on through here sometimes. A lot more fun during the day, I have to say, because there are a lot of critters. Gotta watch out for armadillo, possums, and raccoons, especially around here. But we do have deer. We don't have the bear quite this far down the road, but they're about, they start about 20 miles north of here, and they can get pretty populated. Squirrels too, <laughs> there was one on the road. So you do gotta watch it. But like I said, a little better during the day. So I'm just heading on over there right now. I've got hat cam, so I'll pick this up when I get there. Got a driving range here that's open up, open during the winter, especially a lot of retirees and mobile home communities right here. You can see the RV campers that come. Not very populated during the summer. A lot of these are snowbirds and seasonals, but a very busy area during our winters. Silver Dollar Golf Club. Got a couple photography clients in there. Anyway, I'll pick this up when I get down there and we'll see what's going on. crowd gathering already. Just started five minutes ago. They've got a raffle on for the first hundred people, I believe, so that was incentive to get here a little early. Free food, always good. Parking at the back. Move, people. All right, so here's the gist of what's going on. I can't record much because they've got music playing everywhere. <laughs> so I'm standing way back here, so I won't pick it up. I just signed up inside for test rides tomorrow. I got a raffle going on, like I said, and it's just hanging out and having barbecue. And that's it. They haven't unveiled the Ducati yet, or the X Diavel. And other than that, that's it. <laughs> so I won't be here long. But tomorrow, I've got my slot.
food. I said they're having a good turnout. I'm not sticking around to the raffle drawing or anything. I don't care about that, but most important thing was to get my sign-up slot for the X Diablo. I'm hoping they have the S also. They only had one under wraps, but I'm assuming it's either going to be the S or they'll have both. For the other bikes I want to ride, they didn't have a sign-up sheet. They just said they're uh, doing it on the fly, so get there early. They're going to have the entire BMW fleet there. So I'll be there just as they open. Get as many rides in as I can there. It looks like my plans for tomorrow are going to change. We were going to go over to the air show after I was done here, which is at McDill Air Force Base, but the weather is probably not going to cooperate. We're up to 60% rain chance as of right now. It, I thought I felt a couple sprinkles just standing out here, but tomorrow looks pretty grim. I'm hoping that it holds off for the bike rides. I'll be out if they're going to be out, no matter what. But the air show would definitely be no fun and called off if it's raining. But that's just something fun. I've done it a couple times and they always have really awesome aircraft displays and stuff you can walk through and it does make for a really fun day and cool videos. So we'll play that one by ear. But for sure I'm going to do as many bike demos tomorrow as I can. And I got some questions recently of uh, how do I find bike demos? How do you ride these bikes? I know that it can be really tough. Even around here, it can be really tough. Now we do have obviously a ton of motorcycles. I think Florida is the motorcycle capital of the world as far as number of bikes on the road year round, that kind of thing. However, like most areas, man, it is tough to find bikes that you can demo. Most dealers do not allow you to do that. What they'll do is if they have one used in stock, they'll let you take that out. They don't care about that. But even some dealers won't do that. So I'm not saying count on that, but it never hurts to ask. If it's a new bike on the market, most areas are like, forget about it. You have to, you have to buy your bike sight unseen or at least without a ride. I'm gonna go down this other twisty road, like I said, was just down the road, so you can see the difference, at least while I'm talking here. But what I have to do is a combination of things, and this is what I suggest everybody that asks. First of all, Google for the brand name Demo Days. That seems to be the keyword that most of them are using for the official factory traveling demo fleet. The major manufacturers do this quite regularly, although not in every area, and certainly not all year round in every area. For example, you can find the most coming from Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki. They have fleets of demo trucks and bikes that travel around the country. They'll set up in an area every weekend, usually a Friday and Saturday, and they will have at least some of their line available just to sign up, show up. You have to have all your gear and a motorcycle license. That's it. And if you get there early enough, you can ride on the spot. It's pretty much their most popular selling bikes or the ones that they want to push. You don't find, for example, the R1 or the VMAX anymore from Yamaha, but you find all the common bikes. And they take you on a course now here's the other thing, you may not have a choice, but if you do, if you have multiple dealers in your area that host these things, go to the one with the more interesting location. For example, I did one in another dealership in Tampa and it sucked because we just went basically in a, a couple miles square. It was very boring, no curves, a lot of traffic, if you can, pick a dealer that is more towards the country like this. These are the kinds of roads that we go on demo rides from the Steeler on. Obviously, you get to test the bike a lot better. But if you don't have a choice, like many people don't, just do what you got to do. Now, the other way you can find them is Facebook. 
I find that, like the cigar industry, if you're following me on Cigar Obsession, you know this already, going to cigar events, most manufacturers and venues, and in this case dealers, do a really poor job of promoting events. You just never know when they're going to have one. You might find out word of mouth from somebody, or completely by accident. And that's the same case with these demo days. For example, this Ex Diablo event, I happened to stumble on the Facebook page for this dealer because I periodically check all the local dealer Facebook pages and they happen to have a post up about, hey, we're having an event tonight. Yeah, that's, that's it. You can also do the same thing with local motorcycle Facebook groups or if you have them, forums. I know forums are pretty much a dying breed these days. I don't participate much in any forums anymore. Facebook groups have really taken over as far as that goes, but you'll find some that are more geared towards local events or state events. You can also check similar websites for motorcycle events. If you Google for motorcycle event calendar, you will find a couple. Now, they are not very well kept up because they are user driven, which means the dealer or the manufacturer has to submit their event to all these different directories and well, they don't do it. So sometimes you'll have to hit five or six different sources to find one event going on that should have been on all of them. And that's about it. I mean, there's no simple answer. Unfortunately, there is no central database for events or anything like that, because frankly, that would cost money and there's no way to really make money off doing that. So nobody does it. Everyone just does their own thing. And it's up to you to scour the internet when you're looking for stuff. But that's the way it goes. Oh, the other thing, if you're looking at the manufacturer sites for their demo days calendars or their demo rides calendars or whatever they're calling it, if you don't see anything listed right away, that's normal. They usually don't post things more than a month out. So if you're looking, as I'm posting this video in March, you'll probably find the calendar up for April, but June might be blank. That doesn't mean they're not doing anything in June. It means check back in May and then they'll have the stuff up. Nice brights, dude. Thank you. So you have to check back closer to the time that you actually want to do something to see if anything's going on. That's it. That's the end of today. It is getting dark. I'm going home. I don't have to eat dinner because I just had some awesome food. I'll put this up for you tomorrow. I will be demoing more bikes. Look for those reviews coming over the next several days. And hopefully, knock on wood, I'll have some more shop videos, but it's not looking too good. I'll tell you that right now. All I have to do is say, say hey, come on in. Let's do some videos. They do absolutely no work in them. All they have to do is text me, email me, call me and nothing. So I've done everything I can do. It is what it is. If nothing else comes of it, oh well, I tried. It's not like I'm gonna pay them to let me do it or beg. So if they don't realize that they're getting the free promotion out of it, that's on them. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.